Okay, good morning, Friday 24th of August. We're just here pucking away. We actually stayed here at the Edom guest house here in Beto. We were a little bit skeptical when we arrived here in the town yesterday. But, uh, we turned up at this place. Actually, it's completely uh, brand new. Looks like they're still building it. So what we could see around, this is a uh, Looks like the best place in the town. And, uh, a little bit skeptical me, right? Because there was no water, no electric, and uh, we were all tired and needing a shower and a wash and uh, recharge our batteries. But we couldn't do any of that. And they promised us the electric was on at five o'clock. Uh, it was the whole town that was turned off. But it, uh, that didn't happen. And then we went to a restaurant and we were extremely worried about getting. Uh, bad stomach again there, didn't look too good, but um, yeah, all our worries were for no reason because this morning we were all fine and uh, the power came on at 8 o'clock and we managed to wash our clothes and have a shower and uh, apart from Jamie, he had a, a wash in cold water, so uh, yeah, we even managed to charge all the batteries and so yeah, there was no reason to be sceptical, it was a nice place here, so uh, so that's it, we were packed, loaded, ready to go. Um, today we should be riding on sealed roads, we've been told, but we're not too sure yet. Never know <laughs> whether to believe it or not. But, uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Hopefully it's downhill, sealed roads, we'll see. But, uh, Hotel Edom, good place, much better than we expected when we arrived. So a uh, little bit expensive though, more expensive than what we paid for hotels in Turkey, but yeah, never mind. It's a good place. So, um, okay, let's get on the road. Well, the first uh, job today in the local shop, trying to find some water and some uh, lunch. Are we can up on the way. This is the centre here, Beto. Stop was just putting <coughs> uh, petrol in the uh, little canister for our cooker. I know. We use petrol now for the little Primus cooker now when we can't get gas bottles anymore. Okay, back on the road, just leaving Beethoven. I've been told it's a sealed road today, so let's see if that's true or not. You never know. It's tarmac now. That is super. Oh, this is quite nice after four days of bumpy roads with rocks and stones and gravel and washboard. Just roll here now. Huge birds around here, there should be eagles as well in this area. There's one there, but we can't see it on the camera though. We think the eagle are from the south. I think it's called an eagle owl. I have written on, on church, I get a bird called eagle owl. And maybe it's this kind of bird. It's flying just in front of us now. Right under it now, I think, by the looks of it. As you can see in front of us now, those are the mountains where the lake of Songkul is. High up there, it's actually 3,000 meters. The lake, we may be going there. It's our big decision today do we go up there or do we skip it? So we have to find out what the road is like. So let's see. That's straight ahead now. Well, they moved into another valley now. This is flat now, the rest of the afternoon. We'll try and find a place to have lunch first and then. Uh, yeah, just have to cycle along here. Okay, back on the road. So they can even hear the sound of our tyres. Everything you want come true 
So that was the end of the easy day. From here we turn left, it's uphill to Sunkul Lake. Not sure yet whether we're cycling or whether we are hitching a ride. We have to find out tomorrow. And Sunkul is this way. Big change in the weather. Really strange weather now, it's not raining but that a dust storm blowing in from the side here. So after, what now, five days on the south road since uh, Casamomino rejoined the, um, the north route, which is actually one of the old ancient silk roads. We just found a, a place here, there's no uh, information of what it is, but I think there's actually two graves in this building to the left of me, at, uh, from 1700s. And there seems to be a few other graves around here as well, so uh, yeah. We've also seen quite a few of these places the last uh, few days out in the mountains. They just uh, seem to be uh, open graves where people can just look up to the heavens, maybe. But uh, not too sure. I don't have any information about it. But uh, yeah, we'll just take a quick look here. So, yeah, there's two choices Songkul or Let's see if we can get to Songkul. So, that was the end of the seal drove by the looks of it. That's the road to Songkul. We'll be uh, taking that tomorrow, see if we can find a guest house here now. There should be a few guest houses here. Let's see if we're lucky and find a place here. Place here, beige guest house. Okay, we didn't get any response from the uh, guest house there, nobody at home, so new uh, plan. We're going to stock up with food here, and we've just been really lucky to meet a Another cyclist there, he's just come down from Sunkul. He said it's about two days cycling and it should be cyclable. So uh, he doesn't think it's too difficult. So so we'll uh, get some food and we'll go about a few kilometers up the road there and find a place to camp, I think. So let's see if we can get some food in here. It's all water now. Okay, now I'm going down to this yurt that are close to the shop. And now we just have, um, taking some things for this shop and it's a very good shop yeah and now i'll show you the yurt here close to the shop and this yurt is actually very special and now you can see why this is the yurt inside how it is inside that is very pretty they also have a table and sugar and everything this is the kind of yurt they have here. Okay, new plan. We uh, have just stocked up with food for a few days, so now we're heading up the road here to Sonkul. So it's another mountain pass over 3,200 meters, I think, or maybe even more. That's, uh, that's, uh, we do about 
10 kilometers now and put the tent up. Come on. And now it's actually raining now because mom has a trip and she's helmet. <laughs> Lots of rain now. Yeah, we're hoping it turns to green tomorrow, this place. Mm It's getting green again. What a nice thing to see. We made it to the place marked an overland. There's a nice place for picnicking and also looks like a great place for camping right next to the river. What a great spot. Oh, never thought we'd get here today. It wasn't even the plan, but. Wow, what a nice place. Let's go and put the tent up. Really great place we found. A bit late though, it's quarter to seven now. But uh, we can just have a quick wash, get the tent up here. We've got the whole place to ourselves by the looks of it. Excellent place. Okay, that's nearly the end of today. We'll just go and have some dinner soon in the tent. A little bit later than usual, but we don't have to cook. We bought some pastry things that were already made, so that's quite good. So, uh, but uh, yeah, now we're here. Actually, a really nice place here. Yeah. Didn't expect to get here today, but I uh, thought we'd just have an easy day rolling down the hill on uh, on the sealed asphalt there. But uh, and staying in a guest house, but. Um, yeah, there was nobody at the guest house, so we ended up cycling on further. So now we're on the road to Sun Kul. This is the lake that's up at 3,000 meters, and uh, not sure whether we'll get there tomorrow. We have to go over 3,200 meter pass, so uh, it could be pretty stony and slow going. We hear it's quite a difficult climb, so not sure whether we can we can make that or we have to take a lift. We'll see how it goes. But uh, and now we've just done 12 kilometers of it, so uh, we're on the way. We'll uh, camp here now and tomorrow we'll set off. So, should be a good place. There's quite a few, well, a lot of tourists go there to Songkul. It's one of the lakes, one of the two lakes. So, uh, should be nice at 3,000 meters the lake. And then there's different yurt camps you can camp in. These tents we've seen earlier today, you can camp up there in the mountains and there's restaurants and things. So, it uh, sounds good. So, uh, and also the road up to it should be really nice. So. Uh, so that's it, we're on the road to Songkul. We didn't know that this morning, but uh, that's what we do now. So we'll uh, go and have dinner and uh, camp, and we'll be back on the road tomorrow up the mountain. Okay, see you. <laughs>